What a treat. What a treat. I am in there like <laughs> swimwear. Is this deep enough to dive? Oh, okay. um, no, more over there. It's eight and a half feet. No, no, right, right there, man. <laughs> Steve. You ever seen Big Dad with nope. Adam Sandler? I haven't seen that one. That's actually very elegant. Cannonball! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys are hilarious. <laughs> Good morning everybody, welcome to Stittsville, Canada, Ontario, am I right? Do not yeah. shoot me with that water pistol. Ontario. Ontario, yeah. yeah. We just had a delightful swim to start the day last night. The guys played a show here in the basement. Um, it was fantastic, everybody's a little, feeling a little bit um, hungover maybe a little bit. So where are we going today? Montreal. 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 But look how nice this place is. Swimming pool goals. Hello. Okay. Squad rolling out. We had such a good time. Such a good time. Always that was Alright. Thank you so much. Easy. So great having this you. Guy. Here. This guy. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now the volume of the the radio. The VCR. That's the opposite of what I wanted. Turn the BCR. Loud music. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to remember that on a day like today when you're all argumentative. So it's going to be on your face. We're in Montreal right now and it looks beautiful. I'm excited to meet you guys. I'm getting a few people tweeting me saying, Are you doing a meetup? How can I meet you? I'm pretty sure that it's quite obvious by now that this whole tour is like a show slash meetup tour. Um, and if you're going, or if you are in any of the destinations that we're going to, then, um, yes, I can meet you if you come to the show. That's, that's pretty much it. That's the information that I've been trying to get across to a lot of people for a while now. Sorry if you missed that. Welcome to Montreal. I have never been here. We're in Canada, but everybody speaks French. And English, I hope. <clears throat> excited to be here. Uh, I am excited to be here. There's yeah. French people everywhere. This is blowing my mind. <laughs> it is something it's like the it? perfect mix of a human being. Yeah. French and Canadian. Yeah. I couldn't think of a better mix. Why so? What qualities do the French bring to the party and the Canadians bring to the party to make some perfect? French bring the swag and the beautiful language and just the all round. What do they call it? Je ne sais quoi. Yeah, exactly. Uh, don't, fucking, don't, don't give me a hard time in the comments if I said it wrong. Je ne sais quoi. They give that. And the Canadians give that beautifully, like, well rounded, intelligent, Alive. not too abrasive. Yeah. Um, Saying like sorry for everything. Hello. Hello. Yeah. How are you doing? Good, you? Very good, thank you. 
Trez Bon, in fact. And they're just tray, <laughs> tray friendly. I mean, what, what is there not to like about this? I know. Lord, I want to get my Bless hands on some Moules and Fritz, is what I'm saying. Yeah, Moules at Fritz. Moules and Fritz. <laughs> Yeah. Fritz. Oh, I'm, we are I'm stoked to be here. So. Get nailed in the comments for the way we yeah, the way we're saying, yeah. French or saying <laughs> the words. I don't right. speak this freaky oh, deep yeah. Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about him. This is the green office, yeah? Whenever I'm around um, French speaking people or just like French culture, the same as Italian culture, I get this like deep feeling like I was born into the wrong culture. <laughs> but that obviously sounds really wrong because you want to be like patriotic, and I am a very patriotic guy. I'm very proud of where I come from. But um, there's something about like the Italian and French way that I feel like really like in tune with. And when nice. I am around them I just get so like overwhelmed with like deep happiness. That I don't feel in a lot of places. Yeah. I don't know what it is exactly. I'm sorry, I'm They're very I'm friendly, they're very they're very welcoming, aren't they? The French and the Italians. They're generally Europeans are like and also their cultures are so sort of embedded in them in their people yeah, I think like you just kind of want to be a part of it don't you you feel like you're missing out by not being an Italian person yeah 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 you do you feel like they, they come from such a long line of culture and heritage yeah. and they all take like the arts so seriously <gasps> read street signs and like I was I had to pull the guy I was like hey can you come out here I'm trying to be a so you, you've never been to a non-english speaking yeah, place never once in my life have I ever been to a non-speaking place that's so cool crazy. man I'm it's stoked like, that I'm with you and you're doing that it's like yeah, man. so crazy that, yeah you know like I said I had to pull him out to go read a street sign for me just so yeah. I knew what the street sign said that's but, amazing yeah congratulations Thank you. Yes. first of many you're gonna Hopefully. get all the cultures in I just want to check if this delay pedal he has a delay he uses. <laughs> just gonna check that. I am so tired. Um, I know I look tired. A few of you guys have been commenting saying um, you need to take better care of yourself, etc. And I know, I know I need to take better care of myself. If I'm honest, I didn't expect this tour to be such a challenge. Um, I'm still enjoying it and the best bit about the whole thing for me aside from hanging out with my mates and road tripping with my mates is actually getting to meet you guys so I figure just push on and get on with it stop being a little bitch about it and crack on we don't have much longer left of the tour and this has been like a learning curve for me I've never had to do anything like this before actually another big challenge has been um, trying to keep the content unique because obviously we're going to a lot of Jeremy Luke shows editing on the road is not easy either so yeah a big part of me is looking forward to the end of this tour um, but it does get better from now on um, in more ways than one New York I'm meeting up with Casey hopefully we're gonna do a little helicopter ride like Louis done um, I was so jealous when Louis and Steve went in that helicopter and then when I go to I think we're doing two shows in New York we're doing a Philadelphia show and a couple of other shows, I'm not sure, but it's going to be good fun. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I just need to eat better and sleep more, I think. Then I'll be alright. But I think there's some under-18 brownies outside who won't be able to get in tonight and maybe don't have tickets, so I'm going to go and say hello to them. Alright, me and Chase Money are going to go find some food. What do you feel like, bro? Uh, the stuff called poutine. It sounds like not poutine. poon, not poutine, poutine, uh, poutine, poutine. I'm sorry, I'm American and I have yeah. No there's no poon so in <laughs> poutine. Trust me, guys. It is a Dodge Viper. I used to pick this car on computer games. Like, yeah, so did I. Yeah, and then that's the first time I've seen one in real life. How cool is that? That is the coolest. Like Dodge Vipers. It seems alright, doesn't it? Yeah. Just going to grab a little. Snackage. We just got a message from Mo saying you need to come back right away um, because something about someone needs to go to a hospital. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully everything's alright. Jeremy's okay. 
<laughs> we are in panic stations just now. So, I'm in panic station because my voice is going and at this rate I won't have a voice tomorrow. We've got five of the biggest shows left. So I need antibiotics, but they don't give you antibiotics here, so we need to go to the hospital. You do know that you're not going to go on stage on time, right? If we don't get the antibiotics, if I don't take them tonight, we lose a day and we lose a gig. Okay, panic is over. Kind of. Um, I thought he'd been run over or something. <laughs> the the, the message Mo was sending me was like, get here now, it is urgent. And it, but it is actually pretty urgent because Jeremy's losing his voice um, because he's coming down with a cold. There are many, many fantastic brownies this evening in the venue. Um, Jeremy went to the hospital and it was a two hour wait so he didn't have time to actually get a prescription to get some antibiotics or anything. So he's just chilling in the van for now. I feel kind of bad because like I've like I'm getting over my cold now and uh, a couple of other band members have like kind of almost had a cold and stuff and I just don't like I feel bad that it's potentially me that's given in the cold. But he is getting towards the end of like an eight week tour and I'm actually pretty impressed he survived this long. But yeah, here is the man himself. Brushing his teeth, making sure you got some fresh breath going on. How you doing fella? Okay. You're right. You've got more sex. Are the is the bass running through the amp? No, there's no amp. Chasing status, the photographer. Getting some killer snaps. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, we're definitely in we're definitely in France right now. Check that style. Thank you so much for my gift. Look what I got. 
You guys are amazing. Thank you. Put it there. Boom. Boom. Monica, did you have a good show tonight? It was amazing. I really enjoyed your set. I enjoyed your set. I enjoyed you a lot. Oh, thank you. Um, I will link Monica's bits and pieces in the description. Um, if you want to go check her out. You got boom now. You got to do one of those. Boom. Oh, holy jamolies. That was such a good show. Montreal, you guys rocked it. You were having such a good time. I had a good time. The guys had a good time on stage. I don't know, what more can I say? I am definitely coming back to Montreal. I know I've been saying that about every single place that we've been to so far, but I feel like we're just getting a little taster of every single city that we're going to. And I'm just so ready to come back to all of them, but for a longer amount of time and really do some exploring. The tour must go on, but you guys give me so much energy. I'm really, really enjoying myself. I just love meeting you guys. You just give me such a good reminder of like why I do this. Okay, the vlogs have been a little bit repetitive lately. Sometimes they're like, I guess I'm not used to being on tour and I'm not used to kind of producing the similar sort of content day after day, but it's all worth it just to meet you guys. I really, really appreciate how much love you guys are giving me. And um, you keep me going, you know? You keep me going. Thank you. Okay, we are exiting the facility. Out. We are out. This is Jamie and Sean. Ben Brown has left the building. <laughs> oh yeah, your colon is the easiest way to get stuff into your butt. I mean, into your system. <laughs> All right, let's not talk about suppositories anymore. Did you get some antibiotics? No, they wouldn't see me. They wouldn't see you? No, they said that I, because I'm not a Canadian, I have to pay $1,000 to see a doctor. Oh my God, 1000 bucks. Yeah, yeah. But you got a free mask. Yeah, I got a free mask. That's right. I was using it while I waited as a, <coughs> as a face mask, just so I could have a little snooze. <laughs> Volume high. What song did you play? I thought it was going to be Bad Boys. This is a cool diner. You have seen this before? No. What, what would you call this contraption? That this is, is a music box. maker. Yeah. Yeah. I so what do you say to that? Yeah. I think it's looking uh, awesome. These, these so what are you going to request? I think I'm going to go for Madonna or some Cher. Ooh. Yeah. I think you're wearing it wrong, bro. <laughs> Smoked uh, mystery meat. <laughs> Poutine. Poutine, bro. You definitely accidentally ordered that. I oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Definitely, <laughs> you accidentally ordered definitely that. wasn't my fault, no, bro. No, no. Why don't I have this in America? We are in our Airbnb. Um, we're going to get up super early tomorrow. We've got a long ass drive um, all the way to Boston. Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to go to Boston and Montreal. You were fantastic. Definitely gonna have to come back here, but I'm gonna get some sleep. In the meantime, remember to work hard, be nice to people, try not to get lost or killed. Okay, I love you guys. Goodbye. It's okay. That's okay. You can relax. I'll do all this myself. You take it easy, Ben. That's mm. fine. No, right. I'm just vlogging, bro. <laughs> this is the hard part. We've arrived. We've arrived at the venue. We're in the middle of, um, I don't know, where are we? Stittsville. Stittsville. Ontario. On <laughs> Maybe be getting some poutine later. Yeah, I hope hey. so. I mean, I, That's I wildly can, I inappropriate. Cannot, I cannot express how many beautiful women are just around. Like, in holy, Montreal. holy shit, there's just beautiful women everywhere. Look, there you go, here's a prime that. example, two right behind you. I'm not filming.